Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today is the first of a series of videos that I'm gonna do on different ways that I like to, to improve my immune system, various different things that I like to do and use and make and all sorts of different things uh, that kind of just help me uh, to feel better and to feel well. With everything that's going on out there these days, I just wanted to kind of bring a few videos to you that would give you some practical things that you can do uh, that just aid in immune systems function. So the first one that I'm gonna bring to you today is gonna to be how I make liposomal vitamin C. Um, later on, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about some of the benefits and why why you wanna make, make this liposomal vitamin C versus just buying the little packets of the vitamin C and things like that. Uh, but first we're gonna get this soaking because uh, it's still a little bit of light outside and I want to do some stuff outside. So we're just gonna do this part really quick and just get started on it. So the first thing that you need is sunflower lecithin. You can use soy lecithin, but I don't use soy. So we have sunflower. And all I do is I have this blender right here with one and a half cups of water in it. I have well water. If you don't have well water, you probably want to use um, like distilled water or filtered water, something like that. Get this thing open. Okay. And so the ratio that I like to use is basically just one to one of the uh, lecithin and the vitamin C powder. So I'm gonna use, this is just kind of a thing that I play with. I, I go up and down just depending on what I feel like doing. Uh, but right now I'm using the so it'll be a total of three cups of water to four tablespoons of the sunflower lecithin and four tablespoons of the vitamin C ascorbic acid powder. So there's one, two, three, four, and just a little bit because one of them was short. And so that's all we need the sunflower lecithin for. And then the next thing we're gonna put is the ascorbic acid. And I already used a little bit of that, so it was open. So we're gonna put four tablespoons in this glass of water here. Okay. And with the ascorbic acid, you don't have to do quite as much. You just need to get it to mix in and just kind of uh, to melt into the water. And so I just come along and shake it. This is a couple hour process. I mean, it doesn't have to be. You could probably make it quicker if you want to but I'm not in a hurry. And so all I do is the blender or the uh, the sunflower lecithin, you definitely want to put it in a blender. A lot of people use like a high speed blender, stuff like that, I don't have one. So we just use this one. And all you do is mix it for a little bit, just a minute or so. And so that's all there is really to this stage. I'm every probably half an hour or so, I'm just gonna come along, I'm gonna give this one a good of a, bit of a shake and push the button to stir that a little bit. And so this this one just needs to be, you know, melted into the water, whatever you wanna call it. And, but this one needs time to, to actually uh, like absorb the water and it's just part of the, I don't know, emulsification process or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but that one is much more important. This one's just, you know, part of the process. And you, this one you don't even have to do in the same amount of time, but this one needs to soak up the water and it needs to soak for a couple of hours. But I just come along and I stir it up with the blender every once in a while. This one, like I said, just shake it. So uh, well, I'm gonna keep doing that probably every half an hour and I'll see you back here when we're ready to take the next step, probably a couple of hours or so, uh, maybe just a little bit longer. So we'll see you then. So I'm getting ready to take the next step in making the liposomal vitamin C. And I wanted to kind of just go over some of the very brief uh, purposes and uses and why you on earth you would want to go into taking the time to make liposomal vitamin C instead of just, you know, taking the ascorbic acid and just putting it in the glass and drinking it. So uh, when you are taking vitamin C, I'm sure that, that most people know that vitamin C is water soluble, which means that basically that um, it's, it, if you take too much of it, your body won't store it. It won't hold on to it other than the inside of your gut. And then if, you know, it likely will cause, if you take too much of it, it will cause a, um, a flushing of your, um, 
intestines, <laughs> basically, to put it mildly. And so basically the, when you do the liposomal vitamin C, um, the ultrasonic cleaner takes it the, the um, I'm having a really hard time actually explaining this, but it takes the, the lecithin and it encapsulates the vitamin C inside of it. Basically the process of using the ultrasonic cleaner, it takes the vitamin C and it either pushes it inside of the liposomes or the liposomes cover it, or in some way the vitamin C gets inside of the liposomes. And basically that makes it so that it can bypass your regular digestive system and it can absorb because you have encapsulated it with the fat, it can absorb more readily and more at higher doses into your cells, into your liver, into your wherever it may be that it is needed. Um, I don't have a hundred percent working knowledge of why this works. I'm not a scientist and I'm not, I don't have the time to do the research on like exactly why it works. I just know that it does work. I know that I can take pretty massive amounts of vitamin C and I don't have a reaction to it. And it helps me to stay feeling well and it's just, it's really good. I mean, most people know the benefits of taking vitamin C. Um, this particular vitamin C is not the normal one that I use. Um, I'm just kind of, I was running low and I wanted to make sure that I had enough vitamin C on hand for everything that's going on currently. And so I just went to, um, I went to my local health food store and picked up one of these and this was all the ones that they had. So this is the one that's going to have to work for now. Um, I'm going to be ordering another one on Amazon, more like a, I think it's an, I can't pronounce it, but it's some kind of a cherry that's like a, a more pure form of the vitamin C and it's supposed to just be much better. So I'm going to be ordering that, but this is what I have for now. And then I also have the sunflower lecithin and I'm also going to be going to try and find this in like the organic form. This one here is just the non-GMO. Um, I'm not, I don't know if sunflower is even a GMO product, but it could be, I don't actually know. And so you can see on here, it says it's just the only ingredient is the sunflower lecithin powder. So that's what I'm using now. And that's what we did. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, vitamin C is really important for your immune system. And it's really important for like collagen synthesis. It's really important for uh, basically your white blood cells need it to help just to, to fight things off. And it helps with the inflammation that can be caused from all kinds of of various illnesses and viruses and flus and colds and all kinds of stuff. It's just, it's really important to help maintain a healthy immune system as well as to help you to recover and fight off any kind of an illness that's coming your way. So if you want to have the best chance of beating anything that might be going around, vitamin C is a pretty good place to start. So that's why we started there. And um, this is just the best way to, for, that I have personally found, I'm sure there's other ways, you know, intravenous and all that kind of stuff. Um, is also good, but I don't have an IV and I don't think anybody even offers that currently. So, cause pretty much everywhere is closed. So this is a great way to get it. And you can, as far as I'm aware, you can still order this stuff on Amazon and have it shipped to you as long as they're allowing that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make this really quick. It's going to take about a half an hour and we're just going to run this ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to bring you in close. So you, and well, I don't really need to bring you in close, but you know, whatever, why not? I don't have anything else to do right now. So <laughs> anyways, so all we're going to do is you got my mixer over here and ah, there we go. Okay. So we got the mixer right there and then the vitamin C powder is right there. As you can see, it is all dissolved and it just looks like water in there. All of it's been dissolved. I've been shaking it up and it's completely absolved, dissolved. So all we're going to do is just pour it into the lecithin that I have been mixing up probably every hour or so. I mean, it's been like five hours since I first started this because I got distracted with projects. And so just gonna pour it in there and just mix it up a little. You can mix it longer if you want to. I just don't, I'm sure there's probably good reasons to and there's probably good reasons not to. Um, all of which I just do what I want to do. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you in here. What do you got here? Can you see my head? Sorta. Of. A little bit higher. Too low. How about now? Good enough. Okay, so all we're gonna do, we mix these together, and all I'm gonna do is just pour it into the cleaner. And 
turn it on. And this particular, all sonic cleaners are different. Um, you know, they have different timers. The ones I was, I'm getting ready to replace this one because the power button's getting a little finicky. And I just want to make sure that I have a replacement on hand for when the power button actually goes out. Cause this one is probably, shoot, I don't even know. This thing's gotta be, if I had to guess, I'd say about 10 years old. And, um, whoops. So I'm sure that, you know, these things go out. I'm sure it was pretty cheap. The ones that I found on Amazon, I'm going to try and link below. I don't really know how to link that kind of stuff, but you can find these online. There's a ton of them. I've been looking at them all, all night. Well, not all night, but I've been looking at them tonight and there's all different types, all different kinds, all different options and different price ranges and so many different things that you can choose from. And I honestly haven't even figured out which one exactly that I'm going to actually end up ordering. So this one in particular, I really like because I can do it in five minute intervals and I can go up to 30 minutes. I think 30 minutes is the max on this. Is it? Yeah. After 30 minutes, it just shuts off. So 30 minutes is the max and 30 minutes is about how long it takes to actually do this. Sometimes it can go a little bit less, but, um, so I'm going to bring you in here so that you can see kind of how the foam and how everything on top changes. And so you can kind of gauge roughly when it's done because you don't want to pull it too early because if you don't get it fully encapsulated, number one, it's not going to be liposome and vitamin C, at least not at its full strength. And number two, you could hit your vitamin C threshold, which we don't want to do. Uh, because if you don't, if you don't encapsulate it, then it's, it's just a, a ascorbic acid. So, um, I'm going to bring you in so you can see what we're doing. And then, um, I'll explain a little bit more when we're all finished. Okay. So you can see right here, it's got lots of bubbles and it's got like a white kind of dense foam. And when you push it aside, you can kind of see, and you can also hear the sound difference that it makes when you actually stir it. You want to stir it as much as you have the ability to, I mean, nobody's world's going to end. You can always do the cleaner just a little bit longer. Um, but I like to stir it because that is getting, you want basically you want the liquid to come in contact with the actual metal surface on the outside and that will help it to encapsulate. So, and then also you want to make sure that you don't actually put your finger inside of the liquid. I've heard that I've never actually done it, but I've heard and because I've heard I've never done it, it can actually, it can cause an air bubble to go, like it can go in, travel into your finger, it cause an air bubble and it will go into your heart and have you give you like a heart attack or something like that. So I don't really care to verify that personally. I just, I choose to trust something like that. And it, because I don't want to put my finger in there anyways, I don't. So we're just going to stir this and I'm going to walk away and I'm going to come back and we're just going to come back and forth until this thing is done. And this one is a little, like I said, this is the first time actually using this kind of the, the lecithin. So this is acting a little bit differently. The kind I used before was much more foamy. Um, it, it just, it was foamier and it was a bit of a lighter color. So we'll see how this actually goes, but same principle applies for the most part. I'm sure it can't be that much different. Oh, and you also want to make sure that you're stirring with a plastic spoon or a plastic or wood. You don't want to use metal. Vitamin C. Very acidic. Don't use metal. If I had a wood, I would use <laughs> I, I would use wood if I could. But I can't so it won't. And the sound sucks. It's it's terrible. You get used to it after a little while, but I mean, it's an ultrasonic cleaner, so it's going to make some weird sounds. That's just how it is. What it does. Hmm. So this here is generally what I look for. Uh, all of the foam is gone and it's just a couple little bubbles. Normally this doesn't happen until, I mean, this still says 18 minutes on there. I don't know if you can see that, but so I'm just very curious as to what's happening. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, it must just be this new lecithin. It's a new lecithin as well as a new, um, ascorbic acid powder. So I could probably stop right now and it would probably be just fine, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to let it sit here 
I stir it every couple minutes and I'm just gonna let it sit here until it is finished with its half hour cycle, which is what I usually do. Uh, I just want to make sure that it's fully, fully, fully encapsulated. Even though just looking at it, I can tell that it is encapsulated. I'm just going to take the extra step and go ahead and finish off the half hour cycle, which is what he usually does. So I will see you back here when this hits zero. So now that the full half hour has actually passed, it's done. That's all there is to it, other than throwing it in the fridge. So the, the thing that I find irritating about these cleaners and the, at least the ones that I've come across is that it doesn't it's not removable <laughs> so it's you're kind of just pouring it in there quick and hoping you don't spill all over which I inevitably do but I just try and get it to not spill quite as much so and I like to pour it to where the panel here is in the front so it's less likely that I will ruin it that way <sighs> all right now we're gonna pour it. We just gotta get it at the right pace. I usually try and use a big, like a quart size jar, but I don't have any that are in the, the um, regular mouth. So just gonna use these. And that is all there is to it. And so I've calculated this out at least according to what this the back of this thing says and for every uh, every ounce of liquid the way that I do it with my recipe every ounce of liquid has two grams of vitamin C and again this is encapsulated vitamin C and so or you know like encapsulated liposome vitamin C you know all that kind of stuff and so it, it absorbs from from what I've done and the things that I've seen and researched and all that kind of stuff I'm not saying I know everything but um, I've done enough research to to where that I'm comfortable using this and I'm comfortable making this and I'm comfortable with the research and the knowledge that I've gained on it and basically with with this it, it has kind of the um, the absorption rate of um, intravenous vitamin C Pro likely even better this stuff is encapsulated with the fat in it and you'll notice over time you leave it in your fridge I put it in my fridge I don't know if you have to but I always have and because honestly it, it it's not a pleasant tasting thing to begin with but when it's warm it's like 14 times worse it's terrible so um, this one I'm not gonna actually taste test this one in particular but I'm gonna taste test the one that I have in my fridge and so basically what uh, Robert and I do, and I'm trying to get Malachi to do it, he's being a good sport about it with everything that's going on, but he doesn't like it, but he'll do it. Okay, so all I do is I just take the shot glass. This is not necessarily like, I'm pretty sure this is more than a shot, but you just fill up the shot glass. <sighs> do the little, you know, post shot shutter that's all there is to it and and this is what we have left I made this actually last night Robert and I have been going through this stuff like crazy mostly Robert he works uh, down in um, in a bit, bit of a hotbed for this uh, latest corona thing and so he likes to make sure that he's well equipped and his immune system is very very strong so um, all i'm going to do with this is i'm going to throw this in the fridge and it's going to cool off and then by the time we're done going through this batch which i made last night we will be ready with this batch and this shot here like i said it has uh, roughly you know give or take but it has two grams of vitamin c in it and this stuff absorbs at a much higher rate. If you were to just take this and you were to take an equal amount of this, you would, number one, you would probably have a, um, you might reach your threshold. I'm not sure exactly what the threshold is for most people, but everybody's different. But you know, you might reach your threshold, but on top of that, you're gonna absorb a very small amount of the actual vitamin C that you consume, I believe. From what I read, I think it's about 20% you'll actually absorb. The other 80% is either flushed straight through you or is stored in your gut and could potentially be accessed later. You know, it's kind of up for debate on that one. But with this stuff, uh, 80 to 90% of the vitamin C is actually absorbable to your body and it, it bypasses your 
uh, digestive tract and all that kind of stuff and it, it kind of just goes straight through and goes into your cells and is just absorbed at a much higher rate and so your body can actually use it and it, you know your white blood cells and your collagen synthesis and all of that kind of stuff can be used for it you know almost right away but definitely in high doses and it's just amazing stuff I've used this for so so many years uh, I kind of go through phases of it and sometimes I'll make a lot of it and sometimes I'll just make a batch and it'll sit in the fridge for six months which is what happened uh, probably well, when we first moved here actually it wasn't six months but it was like two months it sat in there nobody touched it and then all of a sudden you know it came to be cold and flu season and we started just started uh, drinking it down again so I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope you found it beneficial um, I'll go ahead and link to all of these things that I'm using in this video. I'll link to, if I can find, you know, the, just this uh, ascorbic acid uh, powder, as well as the cherry one or the non-GMO, you know, the, just the, the better kind of this stuff. I don't know if this is non-GMO. It doesn't say one way or the other, so it likely is GMO. And then, um, which I don't like. And then also the sunflower lecithin. This is non-GMO, but it's not organic and um, also whatever ultrasonic cleaner I end up if I'm able to find this one I'll link this one down below and also you know if I'm not able to find it then I'll link a different one the one that I end up actually buying with, as my replacement so I don't th as of right now I don't have any kind of affiliate links but I'm trying to figure out how to figure it out um, so if if they are links then they'll just be links and if they're affiliate links then cool thanks uh, I don't know how to do that so I'm gonna figure it out but anyways Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I hope that you guys are staying well, staying healthy, and doing everything that you can to boost your immune system. And um, just uh, keep calm and improve your immune system. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.